sacred cripple of the Shawnee people? To Daniel Boone, I give it. You saved my life. Now you have become my Shawnee brother. I, Red Eagle, will give you this passport so that you may walk safely through the whole Shawnee nation. This string of knots, see them. Half for the going, half for the coming. When you show this cripple to any Shawnee, he shall cut off one knot, give you food and shelter, and send you peacefully along your way. Great chief, I walk far. A village called Lancaster in Pennsylvania to buy me a new rifle. His old one was broken when he saved me. Here, this is for you. Now you do not have to walk far. <laughs> Old tar musket. English. <laughs> Red Eagle. You see that uh, stone at the base of the tree? I have to aim high on the tree in order to hit it. The shot drops. I need a rifle that shoots straight and true. One that you can load silent and quick in the woods. And so I go to Lancaster to see the great maker of guns. My thanks to you. This one will serve me well on my journey. Few are given the secret cripple of the Shawnee. So guard it well. Go in peace to Lancaster. You'll find no enemies amongst the Shawnees. <laughs> Stay away from that barn servant of mine. And keep out of my tavern from now on. Here, let me get you yeah. oh. oh. oh, Thank you. Thank you. He's an evil man, that Simon Brush. He's an evil man. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, now, hold on. Uh, maybe you can tell me where I can find the gunsmith. Oh, I'm the gunsmith. Isaac Delph? That's me. Well, I need to talk to you. So talk. Oh, that sounds black. Do you hear me, Sarah? I don't want that lovesick gunsmith mooning over you and interfering with your duties. Idleness is the father of sloth. And sloth is the teacher of sin. Now, do you understand me, Sarah? Yes, sir. Uh, good. Now, go about your duties. Sarah? Mr. Hoskins. Hoskins, old friend. Good to see you. Simon? <laughs> yeah, you look tired and... Uh... Dusty? <laughs> Uh, join me in a mug of ale. Huh? All right, I'll have one. Sarah, mug of ale. How was your run? Fine, just fine. And then to Philadelphia. Philadelphia, huh? Come over here. Hike. Uh, 
All right, now, man. On with it. Our bargain still hold? You doubt my word? Well, you plan to steal a gold shipment bound for the mint in Philadelphia? You want me to trust you? Shut up. Easy now, Pike. He does have a point. Here's the note you wanted, dated two years ago. Properly drawn and witnessed. Does that satisfy your friend? He'll keep your boots dry. Note seems in order. Is that the deed? Yes. Transfers the property to you. Land and buildings. Bond servant, Sarah? Yes, and she's included. She still owes me seven years' labor. Fine. Well, is it agreed? The tavern for your information about the gold shipments. It's agreed. I'll hold on to these. We're buying information. You get paid when we get the gold. How do I know that? Well, what do I want with a tavern when I'll be going to New Orleans? New Orleans? Nobody there to question how we come by French and Spanish gold. How do you plan to get it there? On the backs of my mules to the Mississippi. That's smack tab through Shawnee country. You go that way and you lose your scalps for sure. We're gonna make it. What we're interested in right now is the gold. The first shipment of gold's due through here two weeks from today. I'll be driving. You drive it. What time? Figure I'll reach Whispering Creek about sunup. Any guards? Four soldiers. You be armed? Yeah. Can you shoot somebody? you before then. The less we're seen together, the better. Sorry. It's all right. No, no, no. You want a gun? With a 44-inch barrel? That's right. With the stock, it would be at least 60 inches long. Five feet. I'm going to weigh about nine pounds at the most. And it's got to have sights. Oh, it's got to have sights, hmm? In the woods, all a man's got is poor light. Shadows from the trees. So the sights have got to be big enough so you can see them easy. And the bore about one third smaller. A hunter can save lead that way. And the trigger guard, smaller and thicker, so it'll be able to withstand rough treatment. And I've got another idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A backwoodsman comes here to tell me how to make a gun. Me, Isaac Delf. I make the best guns in Pennsylvania. In Amsterdam, I have made Jaegers. In America, I have built trade muskets, Charlevilles. I've made flintlocks, breech loaders, and brown best muskets. They don't come better. I want to use grease patches so the shot will slide easier down the barrel. A hunter won't have to hammer it down. A hickory rod will do it. One tap and it'll slide down like it was on butter. <clears throat> Mister, this is a tower rifle. The brown best, the English call it. The armies have used it for years. It's very good. Go. Mr. Delph, this is not England or Europe, for that matter. Over here, we got wilderness. And different conditions call for a different kind of gun. Now, I've walked here all the way from Kentucky. You have uh, money? You got English gold, some French and Spanish too. That's all right. I can sell it to the mint in Philadelphia. Then you'll build my rifle for me? <laughs> you walked here all the way from Kentucky? That's right. 
Well, that's a crazy idea. But who knows? It could be me who is the fool. Yes, I will make your gun. I want these repaired. In a hurry. I'm busy. Besides, I don't want your work. I want these pistols repaired. Now. This is my shop, Mr. Pike. You threw me out of the tavern, I throw you out of my shop. I will not work for you or your friend. Don't talk back to me, Dutchie. Dutchie's a little sassy. Now fix him, Dutch. <laughs> I'll get you for this, mister. I swear I'll cut you down to size. You, you shouldn't have done that. You will not forget it. But thank you just the same, Mr. Uh... Boom. Daniel Boom. Oh, Boom. Boom. Why did he throw you out of the tavern? Well, there is a woman there, Sarah Goodall, a bond servant. Oh, I admire her and respect her very much. Today, when I spoke to her, he and Mr. Brasher, they threw me out for that. Oh, but please be careful. He's a very dangerous man. Well, don't you worry about me, Mr. Delf. You just get started on my rifle. Today, Mr. Boone. Today. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. If I hadn't been quick, he took me by surprise. Yes. He nearly broke my arm. I'm telling you, next time I see him, I'm going to get him. Is that him? Let me give you a hand with that. All right. We have a room to let, but I'll have to ask the landlord, Mr. Brasher. <laughs> Civilized men here, not slaughtering hooligans. Let it I said that's enough. It's enough. It's all right. My apologies, sir. Please let me help you out. My name is Simon Brasher. I'm the landlord of this tavern. Uh, would you accept my regrets, sir? Kind of late, though, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir, but. Is there anything at all I can do to make up for this unfortunate incident? Perhaps you have some business here in Lancaster, Mr. Uh... Boone. Daniel Boone. Come here to get a rifle made. And you've come to the right place. <laughs> You're a, a wilderness man, aren't you? Salt of the earth, backbone of the nation. You a stump speaker? Uh, what? Sound like you're running for office. No. <laughs> no, I just like the good sound of words. <laughs> and furthermore, this hooligan here will, will not bother you anymore. I'm glad to hear that. My house is yours, sir. Will you take a room? That's what I come here for. Excellent. Sarah? Show Mr. Boone his accommodations. Best room in the house. <laughs> and the only one left. <laughs> I'm sure you'll rest well there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Didn't you see it? See what? Round his neck, like the pearls of Arabia. What are you talking about? A cripple, man. A quipple. It's fate. It's destiny. It's it's a sheer stroke of fortune. Will you stop making speeches? What are you talking about? What's a quipple? What's a quipple? It'll get us safely to the Mississippi and then down to New Orleans. A quipple, my friend, is a passport through the whole Shawnee Nation. And we've got one right here. Forty 
four-inch barrel. Now, that's half as long as this table. Well, you can always use it for a fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to use something called a grease patch with this gun? Yeah, that's a fact. You take a piece of cloth and you soak it in grease or tallow, and that way the shot slides down the barrel easier. Uh, a piece of cloth. Uh, silk or calico? Maybe wool. You hear that? Now a man can go hunting and use the seat of his pants to load his gun. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bone, you're a very lucky man. How's that? Well, they say there's seven wonders in the world. You're now witnessing the eighth. The eighth? Yes. So many jackasses together in one little room. <laughs> <laughs> I still say this is the only way to get what we want. Now you listen to me, Pike. There are times to act like a cutthroat, and there are times when even you, my friend, have to use your brains. I used them. I searched his room. I followed him. He don't ever take that quibble off. Not even when he sleeps, not even when he washes. This is the only way to get what we want. Oh, no. no I don't want to get involved with the law before we get that gold. Then make a quibble. It ain't nothing but a bunch of beads and thongs. Yes, and knots. And they're complicated, Shawnee knots. I haven't the least idea how to tie one. Do you? But he's going to be out of here before we know it. Dell's been working on that gun day and night. I'm well aware of that. You know something, Pike? What? We don't have to get that quippo. What? All we have to do is get the man. And every man has his price. Mr. Bowen, I've got a proposition I'm sure will interest you. What's that? I need a man. Someone familiar with the woods. You mean you want to hire a guide? Yes. I'm going to the Mississippi. From here? From here. Well, that's mostly Shawnee territory. I know. You've been through it before. That's why I want you. And it pays well, too. The price of your new gun and a hundred dollars besides. Ah, uh, sorry. When I get that rifle finished, I'm heading for Kentucky. Two hundred. Uh, I've got a family back there lonesome, you know. Three? It's a lot of money. Good man's worth a lot of money. I'll make it four hundred. Four hundred dollars and the cost of my new gun. Agreed? No. No. Mr. Brasher, you're offering too much money. Kind of makes your proposition smell. Evening. What did it cost you? Nothing. Nothing? He can't be bought. It's coming, Daniel. It's coming. I never was so excited over a firearm. You never worked on such a firearm before, Mr. Dolph. It's a beauty. A real beauty. And 44 inches. Exactly. Yeah, it's got a brass front sight. It's going to have an iron rear sight. Stock is 16 inches, and it feels perfect, just about perfect. Tomorrow, I put it all together. I will mount this trigger guard one day, two days, and it is finished. Almost. I am happy. She's a bond servant, Isaac. Why don't you try a binder? Because Mr. Brasher will not sell. She is the woman I want to marry. Like me, she came to this country for a better life. She should have a garden with flowers. She should have her own house. She should not be a servant in a tap room. Metal, I could shape, but not my future. Well, 
it's getting late. You got some sleep. Isaac, there's one thing the future guarantees. Yeah? Anything can happen. Anything at all. Nine pounds. That's all she weighs, just nine pounds. And brass, all the fittings brass. My masterpiece. She's a beauty, all right. Hey, let, let's stand her up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gee, has a bit. She's a long one. 44 inches. Feels like you're standing by a flagpole. Yeah. <laughs> He's got that gun finished. He's gonna leave. Hey, let's see you test her out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe she won't hit a barn by a mile. That's it. Prove her out. Well, it seems like a sensible idea. Yeah. Why don't you hang that old bucket in the tree there? Mm. 60 yards, Isaac? Yeah, 60 yards. Good. Very good. Pike. Get me my rifle. What do you got in mind? Don't ask questions. Just get me my rifle. Hello. Oh, no, hang her a little higher there. All right. All right. One, two, three. You ladies better fall back with me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Wait here. Well, now, Mr. Vaughan, I hear you're going to test that new gun of yours. That's right. You ought to have a little competition. <laughs> you may not know it, but I'm known hereabouts as something of a shooting man myself. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I'll wager this old rifle of mine against that uh, elongated piece of hardware of yours. Well, that's a shooting man. What do you say? A little uh, friendly competition ever hurt anybody? A match it is. The old against the new. And the bat. The bat. Oh, you got it. You yeah. sure do. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it's a little wager. It'd make the whole thing more sporting. Say, a uh, hundred dollars in gold against that quippo of yours. <laughs> Mr. Brasher, you surprise me. Is that why you wanted to hire me? Well, is it a bet? Uh, don't you have much confidence in that uh, iron pipe of yours? Well, I never bet for money, but I will make you a wager. My uh, quippo against the freedom of your bond servant. Oh, Sarah? Well, no, no, no. She cost me over $1,000. Well, is it a wager? Well, what about it, Come on. All right, all right. It's a bet. Yeah, this is going to be Yeah, yeah. It's a long distance. You ready? Ready? After you, Mr. Boone. Bullseye, Mr. Brasher. Hey, well, that's good shooting, Mr. Brasher. What do you say we move back? Are you ready? All set. Bullseye again! Hey! hey, 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 hey. That's some gun. Another bullseye! Good shot. Let's move a little further back. Oh, come on. Get these 
Here we go. Good luck, gentlemen. That's dead center. was a miss. Well, it appears that you owe me something. Miss Goodall's freedom. It is yours. I think I ought to tell you, Mr. Brasher, that if you had won, this quipo wouldn't have done you any good. Leastways, not in Shawnee country. What? Well, in the beads are my sign, and the Shawnee would recognize them as belonging to Daniel Boone. If you were carrying them, they would assume that you had murdered me, and in revenge, they would kill you. Well, that's a good thing to know. Perhaps I should have asked. But a bet is still a bet. You won it fair and square. I won't renege. Sarah's still yours. Well, thank you, Mr. Brasher. This part's going to be easy. Isaac? Yeah? Bring Miss Goodall over here. Miss Goodall? It appears that you now belong to me. And Isaac, it looks like I've won you a wife. And if I were you, I'd marry her right now before she can get away. My gratitude, Mr. Boone. Don't thank me, Isaac. Thank your rifle. That it was worth the walk from Kentucky. Worth it? I'd walk clear across the continent for it. There's not another one like it. <laughs> May I add my congratulations, Isaac? Sarah, you're a very lucky girl. And just to show you the no hard feelings from the past, I'd be pleased to have the wedding at my place. And Mr. Boone can give the bride away. Oh, well, that is kind of you, Mr. Brasher. It's all settled then. Gentlemen, there'll be a wedding at my place tonight. You'll all be my guests. Hey, how about that? Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Now, what are you up to? The gold shipment's coming through here tomorrow morning. We got no quipple. We got no passport. We got nothing. And you're thrown away. I just found out Boone can be bought. With what? His rifle, man. His rifle? You heard him. He said he'd walk clear across the continent for it. We are gathered together to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Who is it that giveth this woman to wed this man? I do.
And now, I pronounce you man and wife. Well, Isaac, you can kiss the bride. Follow the creek south to find your rifle.
and you'll boom. Here's your handkerchief, Pike. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, knife. Move. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Bull. We've been waiting for you. You left me kind of a broad trail. Well, I knew you'd be coming after me. Or should I say, uh, the rifle. So you see, now we've got everything. The gold, the rifle. Now, you and the passport. The passport. Quippo. That's right, the Quippo. To take us to the Mississippi, safely through Shawnee country. You said so yourself. The Shawnee would only honor the passport if you presented it. And when we get to the Mississippi? You'll get your freedom, and we'll head down to New Orleans at a new life. I always figured I had the makings of a politician. Yeah. You're a calm one, Lujan. <laughs> now, you listen to me. Now, you either lead us safely through Shawnee country or I'll shoot you down, here and now. Take my chances with that passport. Now, which will it be? Uh, and you'll turn me loose when we get to the Mississippi. And you're a man of your word. Which will it be? I guess I haven't got much choice. That's right, you haven't. I guess I'll lead you. Then let's get going. A warning. Don't plan any tricks. You pull anything fancy, I'll kill you. No matter what happens afterwards. Well, I'll try to remember that. Oh, what about the knights? What about them? Aren't you worried about the knights? No, I'm not worried. Pike and I'll take turns guarding you. Fine. I'll be the only one getting a good night's sleep. Get up front. Move. Pike. Come on, you golden mule. You're the richest four-legged critter in the world. Come on. when I get to New Orleans. Smoke big, fancy cheroots. Get me a wide brim hat. And sit in the gallery of a big plantation house. Drink mint juleps. <laughs> and everybody's gonna call me Mr. Pike. Mister. You all finished? Yeah. You know something? This is a regular stroll. I got a feeling we ain't gonna be any Shawnee at all on this trip. Pike, you already have. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Listen. Some of them out there. <laughs> Why don't they come out then? Pike, why don't you lie down? <laughs> why don't they come out? They will. They'll pick their own time and place. Get some sleep, Pike. You gotta stay in guard in a couple hours. Come on. Come on out and fight! You dirty wood rats! Come on out! Get hold of yourself, Pike. You're just nervous, Brasher. Aren't you a little nervous, too? I don't frighten that easily, Boone. Come on! I'd say you're downright scared. Listen. That quipple, will it work? Get some rest, Pike. I'm tired of listening to you. I don't want to find out that quipple's going to work. Now, answer me.
Is that cripple going to work? Answer me. Answer me. I'd say we'll soon find out. They're here. Remember, no tricks, you'll get a bullet in the back. I come with greetings from the great chief, Red Eagle, who is my friend. I'm Daniel Boone. The sign on the beach speaks for you. We have heard of the great Daniel Boone. We welcome the friend of Red Eagle. We honor the sacred cripple. Come daylight, we'd like to pass on through. Then in peace, pass on through. It worked, like a charm. It's a fact. This is gonna be like a stroll in the town square. <laughs> Blankets are in there, we're getting cold. Now, come on. Over here. Set it down. Well, now, take it easy, Plank. We got another week to travel. Well, when we get to the Mississippi, we'll all get our proper rest. Including you, Boone. Come on, Pike, get the other one. Me too. What do you mean? Those fellows are Creeks, a sworn enemy of the Shawnee. Creeks? What? What? Well, come on, let's get this gold loaded. Get out of here. Grab one. Come on, Bone. All right, get the other one. Boone's gone. Well, go find him before the creeks find us! Boom! Boom! Where are you? Boom! Boom! that you said? No tricks. Hi. 
Pike. Pike! Boone, I'll share the gold with you. Don't be a fool, man. There's fifty thousand dollars. Quiet pressure. Bring your greetings from the great chief, Red Eagle. But they're creeks. The Shawnees, Brasher. There are no creeks within a hundred miles of here. They've been Shawnees all the time. Welcome. To him who bears the sacred quipo, welcome. In peace, the friend of Red Eagle may pass through. Why do you insist on leaving now? Well, everything seems to be in its proper place. Pike and Brash are in jail, the gold's in Philadelphia, and you two are married. <laughs> We'd be proud to have you stay with us for a few days, Mr. Boone. Well, I'd like to, sir, but I've got my own family. And besides, I'm anxious to show off my Pennsylvania rifle. Your Kentucky rifle. Pennsylvania or Kentucky, it's going to be the finest weapon on the frontier. It's had quite a beginning. My masterpiece. A man has to say goodbye to his best work. A long life to you. A long life. And a long life to both of you. Thank you. My, all the way to Kentucky. Isaac, it sounds so far away. Oh, Daniel, be careful. You'll be walking through Shawnee country. That's the most dangerous thing a man can do. Well, for some, maybe. But for me, it'll be like a stroll through the town square. <sighs> Yeah. 